California cities, he is actively working toward this goal. His role model is the late Ayatollah Khomeini, the Shia Muslim cleric who led the 1979 Iranian revolution that overthrew the 2,500-year-old Persian monarchy and established the Islamic Republic of Iran. Why does this American imam revere the Ayatollah Khomeini? I believe it's because Khomeini achieved in Iran the same goal the imam is pursuing in America, a cultural revolution and the establishment of a theocratic Islamic state. As the imam told his followers in 2008, our quest is to emulate the life of our hero in contemporary times, Imam Khomeini, as we strive to establish the Islamic State of North America. His story is a story of ultimate success against unbelievable odds. You might think that what this Muslim leader envisions, an Islamic-ruled America, is simply impossible. It could never happen. But just suppose for a moment that the Islamists managed to achieve their goals. Imagine what life in America would be like under Islamic rule. A Preventable Future A famous science fiction writer once said that he wrote futuristic stories not to predict the future, but to prevent it. The scenario you are about to listen to is not a prediction, at least I hope not. But it is a wake-up call. I hope what you're about to listen to will inspire you to help prevent this future from ever coming to pass. Let's jump forward to the year 2050. The Islamic State of North America, ISNA, is now firmly in control of the U.S. government and all the institutions of American society. At first glance, the September 11th memorial in Lower Manhattan looks much as it has since it was dedicated in 2011. Two square pools of water still mark the footprint of the World Trade Center towers that collapsed during the 2001 terror attacks, but a closer look reveals big changes. The cross at Ground Zero, a formation of steel beams resembling the Christian cross that was found in the World Trade Center debris, has been removed from the Memorial Museum. The names of those who died in the attacks have also been removed, replaced by a marble tablet inscribed with just 19 names. The 19 Al-Qaeda martyrs who hijacked the planes and flew them into the towers, the Pentagon, and the grassy field in Pennsylvania. The Islamist regime has altered some American monuments and destroyed others. Just as the Taliban dynamited the centuries-old Bamiyan Buddhas in Afghanistan in March 2001, the rulers of the American Caliphate have dynamited great symbols of American freedom, the Statue of Liberty, Mount Rushmore, and the Lincoln Memorial. The Supreme Islamic Council of America, in a televised ceremony, brought out the original parchments of the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, and the Bill of Rights, and fed them to a bonfire in front of the National Archives. As an Islamist imam in Denmark once declared, no Muslim can accept secularism, freedom, and democracy. It is for Allah alone to legislate how society shall be regulated. Muslims wish and long for Allah's law to replace the law of man. In 2050, the Islamists' dream has come true in America, as Sharia law replaces the Constitution and other founding documents of the United States. Just as in the days when ISIS controlled much of Iraq and Syria, ISNA has decreed that all property belonging to heretical religious groups, Christian churches, Jewish synagogues, and even apostate Islamic sects, shall be subject to confiscation. Cathedrals, churches, and synagogues are being shuttered or converted to mosques. Your adult children have been ordered to renounce Jesus and convert to Islam or pay the jizya, the tax of submission to Islam. Your granddaughters have been taken out of school and sent home because girls need to learn only one thing, obedient submission. Any female found outside the home unaccompanied by a male relative and without being covered from head to toe risks...